Hi, welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France and Ableton Certified Training Center. How to invert automation lanes, how to mirror invert your automation curves in Ableton Live. This is not natively possible, but there's a quick workaround I wanted to show you. So you all know that automation lines, lanes are these red lines here. You can draw carefully to automate parameters. For instance, here I've got a filter cutoff being automated. As the automation line goes up, the parameter also goes up. How about inverting that so that when the automation lane goes up, the parameter goes down to invert the movement of that parameter. You could do that, say, for instance, if you'd like to change the filter type, um, or maybe you could apply the same inverted automation for another parameter. And what comes in mind is the resonance here associated with the frequency of the filter. So I'm going to show you this. It's a quick workaround, as you'll see. So you'll have to first select the time zone where the automation line is written. Then you hover your mouse above this automation, you right click and you copy the automation lane. Now you move over to the actual device and you right click on its name to group it into a rack. And as you may know, racks have macros that these macros are like virtual controllers within live now i'm going to apply the parameter i'd like to automate say resonance to a macro to assign it to do this i right click on the parameter itself and i map it to macro one now within the racks we have the map option this will enable us to craft and design the range of the parameter we've assigned. Let's open the browser and here I'll find a list of all the mappings done in this rack. There's only one just now, it's the resonance. If you move over to the name here, you right click and you invert the range of that parameter. Right, all that's left to do now is paste the automation I copied earlier on, but apply it to the macro, not to the resonance itself and that way by moving the macro upwards and moving the resonance downwards now because that automation has been applied to resonance i better tweak it a little bit otherwise it might just go a little bit berserk on the sound so i'm just going to reduce the range of the automation lane just by moving it upwards you see it's flattening the top part and that resonance now is not going to move as much as it would have before and let's listen to the result and look at both these parameters moving in opposite directions <laughs> So this is how you could invert an automation.